We have some huge Roblox updates to talk about. Starting off with this right here. Roblox, as of today, has officially launched the new top bar interface for all users. Now, you might be looking at this. You might be thinking, Creek, what am I looking at? Well, if you go ahead and join a Roblox game, doesn't matter what platform you're on, PC, mobile, Xbox, doesn't matter. You're going to notice something a little bit different. First off, you may have noticed there's no giant microphone symbol above my head anymore. And that's because if we look right on up there, Roblox actually has a brand new menu. Check this out. You can turn your mic microphone on and off right from this little drop down menu you can toggle the chat on and off straight from the menu and if you click this little cheeseburger looking thing you can also now report people straight from the drop down menu not only that but you can access the emote wheel so you can do some emotes and you can also activate this capture mode which adds a little button to your screen if we look right on over here there'll be a screenshot button and you can click that and it'll literally take screenshots of your roblox for you and also if you have a webcam or your camera enabled you can also enable self-view and pull up a little face cam version of yourself, your own little avatar, right here on the screen. I have my webcam turned off. That's why it looks like that. I don't want Roblox spying on me in my Hello Kitty underwear. But if you have it turned on, that's a cool feature. But oh boy, the Roblox updates don't start there. We're taking W's all day, at least until the end of the video. There's, <laughs> there's kind of a big L at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, as of a few days ago, Roblox announced that the avatar accessory adjustment update is now available to everyone for free. It's the update where you can change your avatar accessories and make them bigger and move them around and rotate them. And again, this works on any platform. All you got to do is go to your avatar. I'm on PC. It's the same process for mobile. Go to customize. Click this little three dot line cheeseburger looking thing right here. And then it'll take you to avatar refinement. And then you can click on your avatar accessories like my hat. Look at that. There it is. You can move it around, change camera positions, and of course, adjust the accessories so I can make my hat all kinds of messed up. I can rotate it up. I can rotate it to the side, rotate it crooked sideways. I don't know what direction that is. I can even make it bigger or smaller. I can click apply on that. And well, now this is... um. This is my Roblox avatar. Like, it actually works in-game. This actually works. If I join into a Roblox game, you'll see that my um, Roblox avatar is um, a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit crooked. So we got one W update. We got two W updates. Can we get three W updates? Yes, we can. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is Corey. He is a senior software engineer, and he works at Roblox. And you see, a few months ago, back on May 30th, I tweeted out and I said that I would order a pizza to the Roblox Roblox engineer that raises the Roblox friend limit. Because as we all know, the Roblox friend limit is 200, which seems like a lot, but honestly, it's not. Once you start friending people that you have fun playing with, once you start friending fans and Chandler from Mr. Beast, that number fills up really fast. So I tweeted out trying to bribe a Roblox engineer with some pizza. And well, that's when Roblox announced that RDC that the Roblox friend limit would increase from 200 to 1,000, as well as increasing the amount of players you can block. You still only be able to block 50, but now you can also block 1,000. And you see, I mentioned Corey here because he's the senior software engineer that works on Roblox friends and profiles. And well, I'm happy to say that the Roblox friend limit is slowly getting increased over the next few months. Literally, if we go to his profile, he's online right now, literally in studio. There he is. We can see he has over 200 friends. He has 239 friends right now. And in fact, he sent me a friend request I'm going to be number 240. And just like I promised, I did, in fact, send him and the entire Roblox engineering team a bunch of pizza. So thank you, Corey, for getting that friend limit increased. I'm excited to be able to friend some more of you guys. Okay, so that's like three W updates. Can we get a fourth? We got a fourth W Roblox update right now. Yes, we do. I think I mentioned this in a video before, but Roblox tweeted out a few days ago and said the legends are true. Dark days are almost upon us. So hashtag Roblox hunt. Yeah, the next Roblox event is going to be starting next week on the 24th, something like that. It's the Roblox Halloween event. They're bringing back the Roblox Halloween event. It looks awesome. It's called the hunt. Yeah, October 24th. There's like a spooky manor and the headless horseman's in it. That's cool. But then check this out, chat. Roblox tweeted and said the grounds of Axbury Manor quiver with anticipation of your arrival chat they tweeted out a video and it's got lore check this out look 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 the real moon rises over axbury manor as the horseman's curse engulfs the mansion those who dare may tour its haunted halls but must arrive ready for danger in looks that kill yo it's got lore 
It's got lore. The Roblox event's got lore. Literally, everybody's super pumped. That was like the Halloween event has lore. We have lore. Please don't be grindy. Wait, lore? Legitimately cannot wait for this. I think it's going to be awesome. W update. And in fact, here's apparently all of the alleged games that may or may not be in the event. I know some of these are already confirmed. Like, for example, Pressure is already confirmed to be a part of the event. Dress to Impress has come out and said that they are not a part of the event. And I think a few other games, like Tower Defense Simulator, I think they're confirmed to be a part of it. But basically, here's like the list of games, right? I think it's honestly a pretty good list here. Like, I, I like this. Except for maybe this game right here. Um... What's going on here exactly? What what is this sumo wrestling simulator? Okay, I'm down. Let's <laughs> let's do it. So that's one W update, two W update, three W update, four W update, five W update. Can we get a six? No, we can't. Cause this is where the bad news comes in, chat. Literally less than an hour ago, the RTC tweeted and said Ofcom, which is the UK's communications regulator, basically the UK government, is being urged to take action on child safety following recent allegations against Roblox. And then they linked an entire article here. Now, I'm not going to go through and read this entire article, but you can probably imagine what this is about. It kind of all started with Roblox getting banned in Turkey. You guys remember that? It's still banned, by the way. If you're in Turkey you can't play Roblox. But basically, yeah, Turkey banned Roblox because of child safety concerns. And then the other day, this came out. Basically, the Brazilian government is investigating Roblox over allegations of child labor. So Roblox might be getting banned in Brazil soon. And now we've got this. We've got the UK, the United Kingdom. This is a big one. Being urged to take action over child safety in Roblox. And I mean, it's kind of hard to defend Roblox on this because I bet Public Bathroom Simulator is still up on the website. If I search it up in experiences, yeah, there it is. There's a bunch. I mean, look at it right here. Here it is. 465 million visits, right? Right there. 465 million visits and, and climbing and climbing. It's going up. So, I mean, yeah, it's clear that Roblox has some work to do in the child safety department. Now, in response to all of this, I imagine anyway, Roblox is actually doing something weird. They said, we're officially launching the first ever Roblox teen council. So basically, if you are a teenager, you can apply to be on the Roblox Teen Council. It's for 15 teenagers ages 14 to 17. I don't know what happened to 13... 18, 19, but basically you're going to work with Roblox to improve safety on the platform, work with Roblox to come out with good updates for Roblox, et cetera, et cetera. So if you are a teenager, 14 to 17, and you want to work with Roblox to make the platform better, you can do that. You can be on the teen council now. So that's cool. It's kind of like the Teen Titans, I guess, but for Roblox. But I mean, despite Roblox getting investigated for, you know, child safety concerns, these are some pretty good updates. <laughs> 